So, Ian, you remember how you always swore that I stole your Zeppelin II tape? Yeah, because you did. But... No, no, I didn't say that. Stealing would mean that I consciously took it. But anyhow, I decided to sell the Cutlass. Now, guess what I found wedged under the front seat? Boom! Well, I will be goddamned. Too bad I don't have a fucking cassette player in my car. You're about 20 years too late so on that. Put a goddamn cassette player in your car. Can't be that difficult. Especially in a new car. They're all goddamn plastic anyway. Eh, fuck it. I got that out now. Is there anything else that I can get you? Uh, yeah, el café, por favor. Oh, yes. I think what he means is, may we please have two coffees? Mm -hmm. How's mom? Yes, her. And uh, you know, she doesn't want to talk to me, you know, because I'm a bad apple. I mean, look at you, a fucking treasurer of a Fortune 500 company. And me, what, a, a fucking criminal? You know, she didn't call me once the entire time I was in the joint. Eleven years, not so much as a goddamn letter. Nothing. If you reached out to her, she would be receptive. Thank you. Oh, hey, did I tell you who I ran into the other day? No. Fucking Lana Ramsey from high school. No shit. Yes. yes. You know, that was the first chick who ever gave me a Oh yeah. shit, no way. Me too. My little brother Ian getting my scraps. I had no idea. Well, first of all, your little brother Ian is only four minutes younger than you are. And second, who didn't she blow? True, true. Right. And she still looked good, though. Somebody call 911! Somebody call 911! No, no. <laughs> 11 years might be a long time to be locked in a cage. But it's even longer time to wait for revenge. <laughs> I searched high and wide for Buck Berman. And when I finally found him, I made damn sure I knew what to do. Somebody call 911! Somebody call 911! You see, 11 years 
It might be a long time to wait for revenge. But revenge takes many forms. I may have killed the wrong man, but at least now, he'll know my pain.